Hello Space Fans, welcome to another edition of Space Fan News. This week I am trying something different. I'm going unscripted, which means I have no idea how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Okay, so for the news this week, I saw several things that caught my eye. First up, the James Webb Space Telescope. The crew and engineers at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center have removed all of the covers from the mirror segments on the primary mirror of James Webb Space Telescope. And this is a, a big milestone because we're moving on to the next step of construction for JWST. Now these covers were placed on top of there rather loosely so they can move around and they're not on super tight. And now they're getting to a point, the engineers are getting to a point where they need to start moving the chassis around, turning it in different orientations. So they're removing those covers in anticipation of that. These segments make up the full primary mirror of the JW James Webb Space Telescope, and it is it will have seven times the light collecting ability of the Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope primary is a whopping six and a half meters in diameter. Also, remember a couple weeks ago I told you about the Kepler Space Telescope, or K2 as it's now called, is out of emergency mode and back to doing science. Now, for reasons that NASA are still looking into, when they went to go move the K2 spacecraft to look at another area of sky, they found it in emergency mode. They've since taken it since gotten out of that mode, and it is now going, it is now resuming its science mission or its science campaign for looking for exoplanets, and it's starting a microlensing campaign called Campaign 9 that it's using to try and find exoplanets around other stars. NASA still doesn't know why it went into emergency mode in the first place, and they're still looking into that, but they have resumed science operations on K2, so that's good news. And finally, one other thing that caught my eye was Elon Musk yesterday from SpaceX has announced that they are going to try and get to Mars, or at least start uh, their program to Mars in 2018, which I think is great. I wish them all the luck, because NASA seems a little bit flummoxed on how to get there themselves, and their plan seems a little bit, um, well, to put it kindly, ill-defined. So I'm glad that, that someone is taking on this role, and hopefully they can get somewhere. NASA's role, they say, is going to be one of a technical support role. They're not going to be providing any money, but they will be providing technical assistance to SpaceX. So let's hope that gets off the ground and how that goes as well, and, and that that goes well as well. See, I need a script. <laughs> and finally, well, I'm in a bit of a mood this week because, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes when I do these episodes, when I do science outreach, I worry that it's just going into a, uh, some sort of vacuum chamber where we're all kind of talking to each other. And the thing is, I was getting ready to do the Space Fan News episode, which I knew I had to do differently because I'm going to be flying on a plane tomorrow. By the time you watch this on Friday, I will be flying, so I won't be able to make this episode. So I'm doing it on Thursday instead. As I was making this episode and starting to write the script, I started to feel like, am I doing anything new here? Is Space Fan News delivering content that people want, that you guys want. I mean, come on, raise your hand if the stories that you see each week on Space Fan News is the first time you've ever heard those stories. Are you learning anything new from Space Fan News? I really want to know because I want to make sure I'm providing to you the content that you're looking to get. If you're learning about things for the first time here on Space Fan News, great. I'm going to keep going as if nothing had changed. But if this is just rehashing stuff you already know, then I kind of want to mix it up. So give me some ideas. What would you like to see that you're not currently seeing on Space Fan News? How should we do things differently, if at all? I just like to do a sanity check every once in a while because now I've got people supporting this. Patreon patrons are paying money to see good content. I want to make sure I provide it for you. I don't want to just phone it in. So please let me know if there's anything more you'd like to see, anything different you'd like to see, and I'll be happy to make, change course, make changes in the production, whatever you want to see. And finally, I want to let you guys know, for those of you who watch the Hubble Hangouts, what's going on with them? Many of you have been asking and been looking for them, and you haven't been able to find them. Now, for those of you who don't know, Hubble Hangouts are these hour-long things we do on Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time every week to talk about the science from the Hubble Space Telescope. And they were supported by the Space Telescope Science Institute and NASA, NASA Goddard in particular, but something has gone on, I don't quite know what, that has put a halt to them. So right now, they're on hold. 
until further notice. And I don't know how long that's going to be, but I will keep you posted when things change. Uh, Carol's working on trying to find out what's going on. Carol Christian, she's the co-host of it. And we will, as soon as I know something more, I will let you know as well. But for now, they're on hold indefinitely. And hopefully they'll be back soon. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then this is new information and you probably don't care. But for those of you who have been asking, I wanted to let you know. So anyway, we'll, we'll sort of wait it out. I don't know quite. I think it's some kind of political thing. Anyway, that's it for this week, Space Fans. I know this was a weird episode, but I had to do something different uh, this week for uh, practical reasons, but also because I needed to get some of this stuff out. Uh, so please let me know what you think uh, about any changes. I will be back next week with uh, something, whether it's the same format or something different. We'll see. But I want to thank all of my Patreon SFN supporters for helping to make SFN better. You guys are the reason this is showing up every single week. Also, I want to thank all of you for watching, whether you support or not. Thank you so much for watching. This is I want to make this something you want to look forward to every single week, so please let me know if there's any changes. That's it for this week, Space Fans. Thank you all for watching. And as always, keep watching.